Hey everybody, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here, and today we have to talk about Apple because Apple is ramping up iPhone privacy to the nth degree, but only for a few select people. Here's what's going on, and I think this really underscores just how insecure we are in the world if only a few are really going to be able to get this or use this. Now this is coming from Vice News and here's what's going on. In an attempt to protect its most vulnerable users, Apple has announced an upcoming feature designed to thwart hacking attempts from government malware. Now Apple's announcement specifically called out uh, malware created by the Israeli spy firm uh, uh, NSO Group, which was recently caught spying on journalists, government officials, and dissidents. And I should say, they weren't caught spying, they were selling the exploit that governments were buying to essentially spy on, on everybody that they thought needed spying on. We're even talking about Nobel laureates, for God's sakes, not to mention leaders of countries. It was absolutely nuts. Now. This new feature is called Lockdown Mode, and Apple described it as a quote-unquote extreme and groundbreaking security capability in its press release that was published this past Wednesday. Quote, Lockdown Mode, the first major capability of its kind coming this fall with iOS 16, iPad OS 16, and Mac OS Ventura is an extreme optional protection for the very small number of users who face grave targeted threats to their digital security. That is a quote from Apple. Now, in practice, lockdown mode turns off several features that can be exploited by attackers who use government spyware by companies like the NSO Group or Kandaroo and, and some of the others. Now, these features that will be turned off if the user decides to use lockdown mode are accepting attachments set via iMessage other than images, obviously narrowing that footprint for exploitation, some web, te some web technologies like JavaScript compilations, I'd love to kill that too, incoming FaceTime calls for unknown callers, yeah, why not kill that? Wired connections to a computer when the phone is locked. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing that on Android for quite some time. And the ability to install mobile device management configurations, uh, which have been used, obviously, um, you know, to, uh, to thwart uh, government control or um, the removal of MDM, meaning MDM is not allowed because MDM is another way that a government could secretly enforce policy or look at your phone. These are all things, quite frankly, that we should all be doing anyway. If they're insecure holistically, why wouldn't we want these? Now, an Apple uh, spokesperson talking to Motherboard by Vice uh, basically said that some of the features in lockdown mode could not previously be manually turned on by a user. Apple also announced a new category of its bug bounty program in relation to this. If researchers find ways to bypass lockdown mode, they could be eligible for up to $2 million US as a reward. Apple is also offering a grant of $10 million to, and I quote, support organizations that investigate, expose, and prevent highly targeted cyber attacks, including those created by private companies developing state-sponsored mercenary soft spyware. Now, that is a huge shift. Apple has been notoriously stingy or not really cooperative with the bug bounty community, so that's a big shift. I am very glad to see that. I'm also glad to see Apple introducing or integrating these kinds of policies uh, for privacy into their phones, but it really begs the question, why should only a few of us be able to use it? Now, obviously, you can go and you can turn this on yourself you know, to make your phone more private, uh, surrendering or losing some of those features, but the answer is, yeah, if those features are insecure to begin with, why shouldn't we all have this? Why shouldn't we be developing more privacy-centric mobile technologies right out of the gate, whether it's you know, web design, filtering, better threat detection systems that we can integrate, which is something Apple has notoriously removed from their app store back in 2015 and really hasn't changed that policy that much. These are things I think that really underscore that just society in general doesn't seem to take their privacy or their security that seriously. Nobody wants to be tracked, and when they understand that they're being tracked, it's really annoying. I could walk up to anybody on the street and say, hey, will you give me your name, your phone number, your address, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right now, I'm a complete stranger. And you'd be like, no, what the hell are you talking about? But we do it every single time we are going online, and we don't even think about it or even sometimes realize it. So while I applaud Apple, my question is, why can't we all use it? Now, when you have iOS 16, from what I understand, lockdown mode will be an option for you that you can enable, just you, the regular user, but they're recommending you don't. And I think that's wrong. So there you go. Uh, you know, feel free to be insecure with your iOS 16, unless you're a government agency or a Nobel laureate or a journalist. And I think that's kind of weird advice, but I'm glad they're moving in this direction. I just wish 
It was for all of us. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everyone.